Hello, today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the firmware of the Google board using a PIC programmer. You'd want to do this if um, for some reason the firmware on the Google board has been corrupted or if you're using a Google board with the firmware older than version 8 because those firmwares cannot self-update. So um, what you'd need is a PIC programmer and there are many varieties of these um, available so, you, so you're free to choose. Um, you need a flat-headed screwdriver to remove the processor from the Google board and you'd also need the new firmware which you can download from the Google board's uh, uh, website. Um, you go to the download section on googleboard.org and uh, locate the, firm, the newest firmware there and save it onto your hard drive. So once you have the new firmware, the next process is to remove the um, PIC or the processor from the Google board. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's see, the easiest way to do it is to first lift one side up slightly and then do the same to the other side. Lift it up slightly. This way the chip will come loose and it should be quite um, simple to lift it off. The thing you do not want to do is to remove it by lifting only one side and this is a common mistake so you do something like that and you would end up bending the pins on the other side and they will eventually break so please avoid doing this All right so the correct way is to lift one side lift the other side and the chip should just come out easily All right. Okay, so the next step is to place the processor onto the programmer, secure it, and um, you'd have to refer to your user's manual if you use a different programmer, um, but you know most of them work the same way. The next step is to program the chip. So I would first go to the software that comes with the programmer, I would import the file that I want, the firmware that I've just downloaded, and then program, right. And this is a fairly quick process, so it should be done soon. Yeah, so it's done. Um, so the new firmware has been programmed. So the last step is to reinstall the processor onto the Google board. Now, please be sure that you orient it correctly. All right, so there's a small dent um, on the chip that should match the image on the PCB here. There's also a little circle that indicates pin one. So please make sure that you plug it in correctly. All right, so that should be it. We can go ahead and test it out. Turn the board on and it beeps, so that's a good sign. Go to Google Monitor, um, hit connect, and um, let's see. Um, I would hit the ping button here, and there you go, firmware version 13. So, it beeps, you can look at sensor values, so that's it. Very good. So, 